Lisa, thank you. The governor's announcement today also affecting our local professional sports teams. Yeah, we heard from both the Griffins and the Whitecaps on what it means to them. Subject to demand, but we'll ramp up immediately. Despite being allowed to host 500 fans in their first two home games this season, the Grand Rapids Griffins chose instead to start small like a private event. We've just really kind of done friends and family, like hockey friends and family, so it's been maybe about 100 people per game. But the team was in the process of ramping up for 500 fans for their next home game on March 13th, before the governor's orders on Tuesday, which will instead allow them to go to 750, but it still leaves them below 7% capacity. I am grateful that we're going from 500 to 750. That's baby steps. I just wish we could be more in line with percentage capacity limitations that are being implemented throughout the state with every other industry besides sports. Team President Tim Gortzma says they're circling back with season ticket holders now that they have more tickets available and what's left after that will be available to the general public. Most of the pod scene that we have set up are in twos and fours and we can kind of flex it a little bit as necessary. West Michigan Whitecaps home opener is a month later than normal this year, so they're still kicking around different capacity scenarios with 10 weeks to go. By May 11th, it will have been 622 days since we've played baseball. So we're, we're, you know, we're real excited about the news today. The governor's announcement Tuesday allows outdoor sports venues like the newly named LMCU ballpark to seat 1,000 spectators. So, so today is a, is a huge, it's great news and it's a step in the right direction. And regardless where the attendance numbers end up, both teams say we should get used to some of the new ideas like stricter and safer concessions. Pick up your food and go and, and things that I think will make the process simpler, easier, faster that will be beneficial in COVID, but even have continuing benefits beyond COVID. Now the extra Griffins tickets should be available in the coming days for their March games. And with the Whitecaps late start, they'll be going deeper into September this year. We'll play 60 home games compared to the typical 70.